What's up everyone, it's your boy Two Phones back again with another informative video. This video is about the LG Stylo Plus series or just the LG Stylo 4 Plus. Now, you can get this device on Text Now Wireless for $159, brand new. Um, not used, anything, you can get this right now, brand new, okay? For $159. Now, this is an outdated device, but it's still part of the Stylo series. And the real topic right now is, okay, back to school. People, or kids are going back to school. Teenagers are going back to school. You want a device where it's quick to do actions, um, where you can use to jot down something very fast, and you know you don't have to worry about losing any type of notes or anything like that or some some type of idea or thought slips your mind and you need to jot it down now this is for one people that can't afford a samsung galaxy note because we know how much those devices cost and the only other option other than a stylo is the moto g stylus which doesn't get a lot of recognition because it's the first gen in Motorola, but LG has had stylus phones for a while. And the question the that still remains is why isn't the LG Stylo series a flagship? Why didn't LG make this phone series a flagship or a Galaxy Note contender? To get a lot of these in students' hands or um, entrepreneur people's hands or people in small business or business period or people that that want to sketch, why hasn't the series become mainstream? And to be honest, it had potential. In my opinion, this series had potential. Let me pull out the stylus. And you'll get the, you know, you'll get the stylus, quick memos, the pop-up memos. Now, I added a couple of apps in there myself. Evernote and Google Keeps notes application. I mean, it had its potential. And then, let me do this. Um, so, put the stylus back in, and there's only one way you can put it in. Power it off. And you can open up a note. Memo. Without. Opening. The phone. So you can do that. And. Write something. And then you can actually save it. You can save. Save it to quick memo. Save it to gallery. Whichever one. So. It has something there. And to be honest, the best the best apps for note taking, and these probably are good with the Galaxy Note as well, and the Motorola phone. Squid, Evernote, the Quick Memo Plus application from LG, and Google Keep Notes from Google. Now all these have handwriting features. So this is on a Google Keep. I got a highlight. I got a highlight section. I got a marker section. And then I got the regular pen section. Okay. So. It has potential. Evernote. This is a great note application. You got handwriting features. So you can tap on that. And you can start writing. Hold on, let me let me get that. Uh, let me go back real quick. There we go. Now, for some reason, this app is a little laggy with the, with the stylus. 
But <clears throat> it's there. Excuse me. And then, like I said, squid. Hit plus. Get notes. Standard. Tap on that. Okay, so they got a premium package. All right, but as you can see, but to me, it looks like the Galaxy Note. I mean, not the Galaxy Note, the Google Notes, uh, Keep Notes application is the best one out of all the ones I just done. Or go to Quick Memo from LG. Hit plus, And then hit the pin. And you can start. Start jotting down something. But other than that, that's really where it ends. It's just a stylus. It got a few software features. Um, but I think if they added like some type of Bluetooth button to the LG stylus or stylo stylus, um, like for taking pictures screenshots, things in that sort, then it could be a, a Galaxy Note competitor. But this is the only features it has with the stylus. When you pull it out, you, you can change. So, But you can go to the settings. So you could go to the settings and do pin pop shortcuts. But in my opinion, the apps are just regular apps, majority of them. Um, the ones I did mention, um, I think those benefit that the pin pop shortcut feature better than most. I mean, you could do the pop lens thing, but that's really that's that's plain. Um, you could do the the GIF capture, the capture plus. Like I said, with screenshot, that's cool, but the stylus on the LG phones. They need more functionality and they don't have like a button to press or anything. You have to pull it out and then what, you know, whatever is available in that section. But that that's all I wanted to bring across. I mean, it's still useful. It's the LG Stylo dead. I mean, it's dead to a point where because it's not a flagship and LG is not pushing it. Like Samsung pushing the Galaxy Note. If LG puts the stylo line like the Galaxy Note, like Samsung did with the Galaxy Note line, then this will be more of a conver real conversation. Right now, this is it's no conversation whatsoever. It's just a, a budget Samsung Note without the extra bells and whistles and the extra features and functionalities of the stylus itself it's just a regular stylus meaning you can get a you can get a, a dollar stylus and the same thing i'm doing right now i mean yeah sure this will help you touch your phone less and you know pinpoint things i mean yeah i guess i guess it's it's useful for scrolling you know if you gotta scroll i mean i guess it's useful for scrolling if you got the scroll, um, you know, reading an article, you want to read an article. Yeah, I guess it's useful for scrolling. But other than that, um, yeah, that's it. So what are your thoughts on the LG Stylo series? Um, I just think it's, it's it is a very affordable, you know, um, note taking phone but other than that that's where it ends and like i said the best application to me for the lg stylo is google keeps notes application um like i said evernote you can use it for handwriting squid is useful and quick memo which is lg's own application of software other than that i think those two are the most useful applications for the lg with the stylus, in my opinion. But if you had a stylo, if you've been using the stylo as long as I have, or longer, what are your thoughts? Do you think 
it had potential to go against the Galaxy Notes. And if you own the Motorola Stylus, is it better than the LG Stylo? All right, that's the conversation at hand right now. Leave me your thoughts in the comments section. Would you prefer note taking in a regular paper book or would you spend $150 on a note taking phone or a note phone like LG Stylo? All right. Leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. It's your boy, Two Phones. I'm out.